have you ever seen an ad some kind of got some kind of a message from a company a brand and thought these guys know who the hell they're trying to talk to i mean is this meant for me or is this who who are you trying to reach i uh I love reruns of Law and Order. I might be the last person who's still watching these, but they're still on. They keep showing them. I'm going to keep watching them, especially um, Criminal Intent with Vincent D'Onofrio. If I see that flipping through the channels, I'm watching. So that's usually late at night. I watch, and then I'll feel kind of guilty. Like I have all these options for these new shows that everybody's talking about and things I've wanted to see, but for some reason I'm investing two hours in a row in some old rerun that I've probably already seen. And then I'll get a rerun, I'll get a commercial break come in in that rerun and it'll be like catheters and wheelchairs or the hurricane or, you know, seven feminine hygiene products in a row. And I'll think, maybe I'm not supposed to be watching this show because none of those products are meant for me. I don't, they don't make sense for me. They don't appeal to me. They're not for the way I live my life. I'm old, but I'm not that old. Uh... And it really does make me question the, the, sh the context of the show. Does the show still even make sense? And then on the other side, sometimes I will see an ad for something like uh, Applebee's. Applebee's is a big target for me right now. Where they... Right now they're running an ad with uh, That's Amore as the music. And it's showing the slow motion Italian food montage of, of cream sauce being poured over pasta and marinara. And when I'm describing those words, you're thinking Olive Garden. 100% you are. Everybody in America is. That's because that's what that brand does. And Olive Garden kind of owns that space. Maybe Macaroni Grill a second. I mean, I know they're shrinking, but um, Applebee's is definitely not that. Applebee's really has no place there. It doesn't make any sense. And when I think about Applebee's over the past year, I go back and I, the last thing they did before that was ribs, which they're not really a rib place, but I'll give them a pass. Then they were talking about something else like appetizers, all you can eat appetizers or something. Then they were doing this thing where they replaced their kitchens and they put in grills. Um, and in between all that, they were trying to play with the menu and offer these new weird, you know, brisket nachos. And it occurred to me when I was seeing this uh, That's Amore campaign, Applebee's doesn't know who it is. Applebee's has no idea who its customer is. Applebee is, is a brand just swirling down the drain. They have no concept of where they're supposed to go. Um, you can tell they don't know who their customer is. They're flailing to try to figure out, well, maybe this will stick. Maybe this will stick. Maybe this will stick. Uh, and, you know, finding some little tidbit in research that is making them turn the company every 90 days some, you know, another 15 degrees and try to get it to be something meaningful. Applebee's could never be an Italian food place. And nobody that goes to Applebee's is saying, wow, if only they had a pasta menu here. Sorry, I know in a focus group you got that result, but that's not true. Uh, and sales will bear that out, I'm willing to bet. Um, I know the COGS is attractive, right? So the cost of goods is going to be attractive. The lower food cost, higher margin is going to be fantastic. Even if you did a um, all-you-can-eat pasta kind of deal, you'd be satisfied with that. People are, it's not going to drive traffic. It's not going to drive results. And it doesn't mean anything for the brand. When you think about the brand, it's this gathering place. Um, it's the, the neighborhood tavern. It's a place where everybody can get around the table and catch up on things happening around in the neighborhood. And I think they just kind of made a perversion of that to get to this pasta platform or whatever they're calling it. But guests, people, people are smarter than that. People look at it and they say, that's not what that company does. I am not going to that company for that reason. You know who will love it? Loyal Applebee's customers. And that's great. But for a brand, that's not how brands grow. Brands don't grow by getting their loyal customers to come in for the occasion they were already going to give you. Brands grow by attracting more light users. And light users are not coming in to try pasta at Applebee's in almost any part of the country. There will be exceptions to that. There will be places where you see a tick up in growth. But overall, that's just not going to get it done. 
It's not going to drive the kind of new customer growth that they need, especially right now as, as uh, that sector is just getting pummeled. Restaurants are overbuilt. This is a time where a brand like Applebee's needs to be dialing and circling the wagon and saying, this is who we are. This is what we do. This is our customer that we know that we have to go get and appeal to. What would appeal to that customer? Maybe a song from the 30s, 40s? I don't know when that song is from. Dean Martin, are you shitting me? You're not, nope, that's not going to get it done. Try harder. Uh, you're not getting the, the millennial base that you're trying to build to. And I've read articles where they said, well, we want to bring in millennials, but we can't alienate boomers. I'm sorry, you can't get them both. You got to be one or the other. And Fast Casual for a while had figured out how to get the millennials, and then they lost the millennials because they tried to get the boomers, they tried to get the Gen Xers to come in too with their kids. You have to be one thing. You have to be the best at that one thing. But you can't change every quarter and put in grills and try to be steaks and then try to be ribs and then try to be pasta and then try to be food truck appetizers like Applebee's doing. It doesn't work. People are not looking to sniff out a fake, but they can't help but trip over something this obvious. When I see something like that, again, it makes me question, like I do with those reruns of Law & Order, is this the right place? Am I in the right... This was made for me? Or maybe this is for someone else? When I hear that's Amore, and they're showing the Italian food, and I expect an Olive Garden logo, and I see a, an Applebee's logo, that's when you really got to think about what you're doing.